What's up? My name's Dan. Uh, I'm here to talk about a library I worked on with a friend of mine, Chi Chan, and uh, it's called Redux Worker. It's about concurrency on the front end. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about some performance things on the front end. We can talk about Redux, and we're going to talk about web workers. So let's go. 60 frames per second. This is the gold standard for smooth UX, and if you do some simple math, that's 16 milliseconds per frame. But it's not that simple because if you uh, kind of break it down a little bit, the DOM needs another eight milliseconds to update. Uh, and that means you've got eight milliseconds left for your business logic and any kind of state management. That's not a whole lot of time. So uh, basically, this is, what, uh, this is how much time we have for everything else. Um, so with those constraints in mind, let's jump into a little bit of a demo. I hit Alt-Tab, Control-Tab, thank you. So here's a top half is our, is our end queens. It's our, it's our proxy for state management. It's a common computer science problem. And the bottom half is a proxy for our, our UI. So if I hit calculate, UI stops blocking thread. If I turn my worker on and toggle, UI is silky smooth. Cool. So what happened there? Yeah. Uh, web workers happened. <laughs> Um, so our, our blocking computation was moved into a worker thread. This is exactly what our library does. Uh, we, we move your reducer into a separate worker thread. Uh, why is this uncommon? Basically, there are two problems uh, that I'm sure anyone who's tried to use web workers in toy projects is aware of. Uh, the, the first problem is separate context. You don't, you don't get the advantage of your existing app code. Uh, you don't get to, to reuse that. And the second problem is asynchrony. The, the uh, yeah, there's your, there's your uh, triangle of doom. The worker thread and the main thread communicate with the messaging protocol. This can get pretty awkward, um, especially back in the days of, what was my note here? Event-driven backbone, like hell, and imperative jQuery spaghetti code. So Redux, how does Redux help? We can step back a little bit here and Here's your, uh, here's your flux unidirectional data flow vi visualization. Basically, what, 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 what happened there is that the reducers live here in our library, and the web worker sends a message to the main thread saving new state. That's basically it. Not a whole lot much else going on at a high level. We're not changing anything about flux. This is a nice solution because Redux naturally lives between the dispatcher and the store. As we saw in the demo, moving our reducer into a worker thread is quite helpful. We're able to do this cleanly because we expect the reducer to be a pure function. Writing this library, we stuck to the simplicity and purity of Redux, and our interface has only two functions to understand. The first is create worker. Create worker is pretty simple. You import your reducer and create worker from our library, and you create a new worker. You can register that with worker.registerReducer. Essentially, we're passing the import from line one down to the register reducer on line six. This actually creates its own script uh, if you're familiar with Webpack, it creates its own entry point, and that script is what we're going to use with the next function, apply worker. Apply worker, basically, we have our basic Redux boilerplate, if you're familiar with the starter projects, um, and this uh, dist worker bundle JS is what was created back with our first function, create worker. We're going to import that at, into our native worker constructor and apply it with this middleware creator, apply worker. And that's basically it. The reducer is always invoked, and uh, anytime we need to do this computationally intensive uh, work, it moves off into a separate thread. So we hope that these, that these examples encourage more work to be done with the parallelism story, with the parallelism story in JavaScript. Uh, this community has helped both Chi and I tremendously in both the quality and ease of our work as engineers. Um, this talk and well, this fun little talk in this and this uh, library is our way of giving a little bit back. Thanks very much.